Hi, my name is Andrea Hudgens. This is my physics video project for my fundamentals of physics class at Full Sail University. Uh, my instructor's name is uh, Raul Vargas. Um, my study, my degree program that I'm enrolled in at Full Sail University is uh, game design. Um, and I chose to do my physics video project uh, demonstrating <coughs> Pascal's law and uh, how that can apply to uh, my program of uh, study, which is game design. Um, first of all, uh, Pascal's law states that uh, when you apply pressure uh, to contain fluids <coughs> that is in a leak-proof container, um, the fluids will then transmit uh, the same pressure in all directions within the container at the same rate. <clears throat> okay, so what I've done here to demonstrate this experiment is I have a water bottle here and uh, I have attached a balloon to the top. Uh, and I don't know if you can see it very well, <laughs> but I have put, uh, I took four matchsticks and I, uh, I chopped the, uh, cut off the top uh, where the combustible part is. And I put those four uh, matchstick tops inside this water bottle. Uh, with the uh, the balloon on the top, and I filled it to the brim with some water. Now, uh, Pascal's principle and hydraulics work together. Um, so we have hydraulic systems use incompressible fluids such as water, uh, oil, uh, and they trans uh, transmit the force applied within the fluid from one location to another. Um, so this, uh, another example of this is like if you take your car uh, to the mechanic and they put it up on the big lift um, to do anything um, to the undercarriage of your vehicle, uh, that's a hydraulic system. Um, hydraulic brakes, uh, motorcycles, aircraft, uh, even some vehicles have hydraulic brakes. Um, so this, that's Pascal's principle, uh, Pascal's law, and that's how it's applied. In, uh, those different fields mechanics aircraft um, and I'm going to demonstrate it with this uh, with this bottle of water and this water balloon so we have the the balloon up at the top um, and this is an enclosed container the matchsticks are in there and what happens is when you press down on the diaphragm of the balloon the matchsticks go down into the bottom of the water bottle because I'm applying pressure to the top of the balloon. And when I let go, the matchsticks come back up to the top. All right, so that's that's an example in an experiment of Pascal's Law. And um, also, how this applies to game design, there are a ton of games that are designed uh, with cars and aircraft. Uh, the first example of a, uh, a car game with hydraulic brake systems um, that is actually very well done would be Gran Turismo. Any of the Gran Turismo games, um, they're PlayStation exclusive, um, as well, but in those games, the designers had to be well, very well aware of Pascal's Law when they were designing those brakes, um, because you can actually go into the tuner part of that game, and you can actually adjust the hydraulics and stuff within the brakes in that game to uh, as far as uh, the cars braking around corners and whatnot. Another good example of a game that demonstrates Pascal's principle very well would be Forza, Forza Horizon, which is a Microsoft exclusive game, so you can play that on Xbox. Um, so there you have it. This is Pascal's Law. Again, my name is Andrea Hudgens, and this was uh, for my fundamentals of physics class at Full Sail University. Thanks for watching.